As we prepare to receive none other than the founder and presiding prelate and chief apostle, general overseer of the Solid Rock True Holiness Churches of the Apostolic Faith, put your hands together and holler. John chapter 19, I'm going to start at verse 16. I'm going to read through the 22nd verse, then I'm going to go to the 25th verse, read a couple of verses there, then I'm going to uh, the 31st verse, and then I'm going to read from Mark, and I'll be almost through. Is that all right? Amen. But I want us to understand something, because the church world uh, celebrates this time, yeah. and uh, we call Friday Good Friday. Anybody know that? Amen. They call it Good Friday, but I, I want somebody to tell me what's good about it. Somebody being put to death. It ought to be Good Sunday. Because of resurrection. All right, let's read here John 19. Verses 16 through 22. Let's deal with that first. Read for me. St. John 19, verse 16. Then delivered he him, therefore, unto them to be crucified. Mm -hmm. yes. And they took Jesus and led him away. Yes. And he, bearing his cross, went forth into a place called the place of the skull, which is called in the Hebrew, Golgotha. All right, let's, let's deal with that took him to the place of the skull. Say skull. Skull. Known as Golgotha. Now understand here, why would they take him to the place of the skull? Because in the book of Genesis, God told Adam, told the woman, you know the curses he put on. But isn't it amazing how he told the woman, the serpent shall bruise his heel. And his heel shall bruise his head. So when they got ready to crucify him, they took him to the place of the skull, which is a head. Now, they bruised his heel with the nail, but when they put the cross in the... Now, notice that the cross was just not placed there prettily. It was put in, yes, thrown in, yes, very hard. Yes, but isn't it amazing how the word said that it was the place of the skull? Yes, and when the cross hit the place of the skull, yes, it gave the devil a migraine. Yes, did not take place in the city because they never crucified anyone in the city except they were a Roman. So Jesus was crucified outside of the city. And you know how we preach. Those of you that listen to the word know, you know, one of my favorite sayings during this time is he died from the sixth to the ninth hour. But I'm going to prove you wrong today in just a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Go tell your preacher I said it. Mm -hmm. Now, understand, read on for me. Then said the chief priest of the Jews to Pilate. Right. Right now. Don't write that. The king of the Jews, but that he said, I am king of the Jews. Don't put on there that he's the king of the Jews. Write that he said, I am. Uh, but what did Pilate say? Pilate answered, what have I written? I have written. What I wrote, I wrote. Amen. 
Can't change it. Pilate knew who he was. Didn't he tell him, say, look, let me wash my hand because I find what? No fault. Uh, do I have about 12 folk in here that have tried him and found out that he's not all right? I don't want to go too fast here. All right. Y'all let's go to 25 through 27. Read it. His mother, you know her name. And his mother. You know, you know her name. Yeah. Come on here. I got some ex-Catholics in Solid Rock. That's right. Wow. Preached this gospel to them until they got delivered and took on Jesus. And opened their eyes and showed them how are you going to worship a woman more than God? Now, I know what I'm talking about because I taught Catholic school. They never changed me though. They gave me a check. Is any help here? Because I was a teacher, I had to go to mass. But I never participated. Before it was over, I was laying hand on the fathers and the nuns. They was laying on the floor. Y'all know you. See, when you got the genuine Holy Ghost, you can go anywhere. Watch this. If you're really delivered from something, it does not intimidate you to be around it. If you was a whole hopper or a slut, it doesn't bother you to get around that. Or it's tiny. If you were an alcoholic, if you were a liar, if you were a gossiper, I need some Easter folk up in here. Yeah! <laughs>